Hi everyone and welcome to Fusion 360 Monthly Challenge 2018. Joining the challenge is very easy. All you have to do is forward your full name, school or a company name together with your Fusion 360 email to Autodesk Community Philippines at gmail.com. Today we will be modeling the challenge for October and this one's a sheet metal. Let's enter sketch mode by hitting L for line and let's sketch on our XY plane. Let's start creating the bottom horizontal line and let's drop the first point at the origin. The length for this line is 133.86. Let's reposition our dimension. Left click and hold, release. Create a vertical line from this endpoint. Moving up. Length to be 28.92. Let's move the dimension to the right. Create another horizontal line with the length of 124.94. Create another vertical line. Left click here, hit escape. Hit D for dimension. Let's select this endpoint and our horizontal line. Left click here to place our dimension. Key in 43.03. Zooming out. Hit L for line once more. I accidentally created a horizontal line and it has a perpendicular constraint. So let me select this constraint and hit delete and grab this endpoint. Hit D for dimension, select this line and this horizontal line. The angle to be 60 degrees. Create another vertical line moving up. Double left click to terminate the command. Let's create another line here. And another line. Hit escape. So these two lines has a relationship of perpendicular. Let's now hit S to grab our shortcuts and typing ARC, selecting three-point arc. Let's create an arc from this endpoint, going to this endpoint, and left click here, hitting escape. Next, let's create a construction line. I'm going to hit L for line and enable construction. Let's place our first point at the center of this arc and left click on this line. Select this line and this line, right click and let's add a perpendicular constraint. Next, hit C for a circle, create a circle here, diameter to be 25.78. Hit D for dimension, select this line and this center point. Drop our dimension here, key in 31.8. Hitting escape and let's turn this into a solid entity. So disabling construction, I'm going to hit X. Let's hit D for dimension and let's dimension this arc to be... 12.9 hitting escape next let's dimension this line as well the length to be 116.18 hitting escape create another line from this add point but first let's disable construction double left click here Create another line from this endpoint, moving down. Left click here, hitting escape. This line and this line should be perpendicular. Hit D once more for line, select this line and this endpoint. Left click here, key in 54 54.74. Hitting escape and let's reposition this point. So left clicking and holding. Next, let's zoom out. 
grab our dimension once more select this center point and this horizontal line drop our dimension here key in 43.03 next selecting this endpoint and our horizontal line the value to be 75.15 Next, let's dimension this line and this horizontal line. The angle to be 45 degrees. Select this line. And dimension this to be 117.04. Let's dimension this line and this horizontal line. So confirm it's 45. Let's leave this as a reference. Let's inspect our sketch. Hitting escape and let's move this. Let's grab our dimension once more. Select this line and this horizontal line. So confirm it's 30. Next, let's create the arc here. But first, let's create a perpendicular line. Hitting escape. Hit S and type ARC for our three-point arc. Create an arc. Left click here. Create our arc. Hit L. Let's extend this line. So hit S and type EX. Select extend. Extend this. Hit escape. And let's grab the endpoint of this arc and place this on the intersection. We can now hit T for trim and trim this excess line. Hitting escape, select this line and this arc. Right click, selecting equal. Let's pull this endpoint up. And this line as well. Hit D for dimension, select this line and our center point. Let's drop the dimension here. Key in 116.79. Hitting escape, resizing our sketch. Grab our dimension once more, select this line and our center point left click here key in 14.78 next select this line and this line the dimension to be 107 so it turned into black meaning it's fully constrained and notice i did not complete the sketch here my intent is to fully create this initial profile for our flange. From here, we can now hit Stop Sketch, change our workspace to Sheet Metal, select our flange, and select this profile. The material to be aluminum, 2 millimeter thickness, Hitting OK. Moving forward, let's add a flange by selecting this edge. I can right click and select flange. Height datum to be outer faces, bent position inside. Let's grab this arrow and key in 30.568. Hitting OK. Let's enter sketch mode to create the profiles for our cut extrusion. Let's select this face and hit C4 circle. Let's drop our first circle here with a diameter of 6.35. Hit C once more for circle. Create another circle here. Hitting escape. Let's grab our equal constraint. Select the circle and the circle. Next, selecting horizontal vertical constraint, selecting this center point and the center point. Hit D for dimension. Let's select this center point and this edge. 
the value to be 13.208. Select the center point once more and this edge, the value to be 18.593. Select this edge and the center point, the value to be 89.992, hitting enter. Next, let's create another circle here. Hit D4 dimension and right click, let's select radius, the radius to be 12.9. Selecting our center point and this edge, the value to be 14.78. Select our center point once more and this edge, the value to be 116.79. Hit L4 line. Let's create a line from here moving up. Left click here, hit escape, hit D, and let's grab this horizontal line, select this edge, the value to be 116.18. From here, we can now hit E for extrude, select this profile, this profile, and this profile, pulling our arrow down. I can select extent to be all, hitting OK. Turn on the visibility of our sketch. Select flange, selecting this profile. And thickness to be side 2. Operation new body, hitting OK. Let's change our workspace to model. Hit S, typing CO and selecting combine. Let's combine this body and our sheet metal body. Hitting OK. Revert back to sheet metal and turn off sketch 4. From here, I'm going to pause the video and I want you to repeat the same techniques mentioned. Welcome back. So here's the finished part. And from here, we can head to Modify and select Create Flat Pattern. Let's select this face as our stationary face and hit OK. To revert back to the bended operation, I can simply select Exit Flat. Curious to know how you modeled the challenge? Please leave a comment in the section below. Congratulations and thanks for watching the Fusion 360 Monthly Challenge for October. Lastly, inviting you to join our Facebook group. It's facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Autodesk Community Philippines.